Rich Willigman and student athletes Alicia Hamilton and Kat Espinoza. Coach, if you wouldn't mind starting us with an opening statement. Man, uh, good game day for us. Obviously, Kat came out and I thought she did a great job of keeping the ball down, hitting both sides of the plate again. And basically, you know, we gave up some hits, but we didn't give up that many in a row and kept them off the scoreboard and allowed us to score. And getting that first run in the first inning was huge. I think getting, you know, getting off right then and there, I think that gave us some momentum that we were able to hold the whole game. Questions for the student athletes? Alicia, you had, had an outstanding day at the plate. How, you had that key hit late, too. It seemed like Tennessee had made a bit of a run, and then you guys just sort of closed the door in that late inning. Can you just talk about the job you guys did at the plate this game? Um, I mean, our dugout was just extremely loud. That always fires us up whenever there's chanting and um, getting us fired up, and then Kat's out there throwing her heart out. And so we, we tell her every time, you, you give us what you got, we're going to give you what we got. So, yeah. Kat, you may know this, but this is only the fourth loss at home for Tennessee. The uh, Auburn, Alabama, Mississippi State beat them. This is, you're the first uh, non-conference team to beat Tennessee at home this season. Can you just talk about the, the job you did in the circle and the team did overall? Um, well, I tried to focus it, it I tried to think of it as playing any other game and just like yesterday, just focus on one pitch at a time and hit, made sure I hit that spot every single time. From a pitcher's point of view, how important is the winner's bracket? I mean, you get, you guys get to rest the rest of the day. You don't have to play tonight. It's a lot easier for us all, I think. <laughs> it's hot down. Yeah. yeah, it's extremely yeah. hot. It's very hot, you know. <laughs> What were you doing? Tennessee's a, an aggressive hitting team, but it wasn't till about the sixth or seventh inning that it's like they finally started swinging more. What were you doing so well to keep them off balance? They they were not their normal selves at the plate. I literally tried to hit my spot every single time. I just focused one pitch at a time. Basically, that's what helped me throughout the whole game. I didn't worry about what where the ball was. If I missed my spot, I didn't worry about where it if it was a ball, a strike, or whatever it was, I focused for the next pitch. I worried about the next pitch instead of dwelling on it. Alicia, how key was this, too, to do this in front of their family? I mean, that was a packed house out there, and I didn't see a whole lot of Oklahoma State orange out there. Yeah, I mean, we like the orange, so <laughs> we just, <laughs> before the game, we're like, man, it seems like our home field, you know? So we kind of just did that. I mean, it's a great atmosphere to play in. They're fil you know, they have a great field to play on, so... Um, as long as we have each other and, you know, we're firing each other up, I think, you know, that's all you really need, so. I was asked about, so I had not seen you play until yesterday, and somebody asked me, what are they like? I said, what I saw, they're scrappy, they put the ball in play, and they put pressure on the other team to get them out. Is that is that how you guys have played all year? Well, I had hope, oh, yeah, like, I, I had hope so. That's what we try to do, you know, just find a, find a way to win. That's all we're out here to do, so. Alicia, could you talk about the getting off to the good start, you know, scoring a couple runs in those early innings, really executing well? I mean, did that give you a lot of momentum? Did it really yeah, give you Yeah, I think it gave confidence? the whole team a lot of momentum, too. You know, you get out and you score first, and, you know, you want to hold on to that and, you know, keep keep the lead. And I think that just fires us up and fires us up on defense just to hold them and then keep scoring runs as much as we possibly can, so... Coach, is that a big win considering Tennessee's home stadium and you're only the fourth team to beat them here this season? I think without a doubt. I think, yeah, that's that's something easy. You know, that's that's definitely a, a big win, you know, this regional. So I can't say enough about them, how they've played, you know, in front of this crowd. I know it's a great crowd. and You know, I always try to tell our kids, you know, hey, they're here to watch you play, so let's have fun. And if they're tell talking to you, it means – trying to get to you, but just don't worry about it. You know, enjoy the crowd and the atmosphere and let's play ball. And even, have a lot of fun even if they're pulling against you, it's, I guess right. it's better than 50 in the stands. It's better than having yeah. nobody in the stands, that's yeah. right. And then how, how important is this win? This way you've got, you, you know, you're off until, what, 2 o'clock tomorrow? Yeah, I, I, you know, to stay in the winner's bracket, not having to play two games in this heat, it, you know, it's pretty big. It, it's hard to believe, but I don't know if they realize this, but a week ago today we played in, 40 degree weather and 30 degree weather yeah. in Nebraska, so we've gone to extremes basically week to week, weekend to weekend. But uh, no, I thought they did a great job of handling it. I know they do a really good job of taking care of themselves, drinking plenty of water, and, and, and doing things they need to do when they're not playing ball. So it pays off in these types of situations for sure. 
And then changing up pitchers late. What, what was your thinking behind that? Did you think Cat well, just had, had... She started getting a little flat, and, I, you know, it's hot out there. We could tell she was starting to lose a little bit of snap. And, and we've, got a, we've got Odie, who, you know, she does a great job of throwing a lot of ground balls, and, and we knew they had a lot of lefties in there. And it's, you know, let's get her in there and let's get her to close the door. And she's been, she's been doing a good job of doing that, so we didn't hesitate to do that. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.